all right so welcome back to another one so today we'll be doing the tier list as i told you in the last tier list video i was gonna do this you know because um some people really wanted a tier list but i didn't want to do the tier list right now because the game is gonna get updated so that's y'all's fault if this video won't be valid after a week so uh we're going to list all the characters over here so i got all the characters over here and um so let me explain this first so on s tiers it's a good character um i mean everybody knows that but on s tier is a good character who has good combos all right who has good good combos and i'm gonna put on b characters uh someone who has good combos but are actually are also spammable and on d characters i mean on d tier list that's just something that that those are just bad characters just straight up bad characters and i think on c it's just gonna be spammable characters but can easily be beaten i mean can easily be uh avoided and get shut down so because i don't think that there will be a character that, that can be on e tier because most of the characters right now okay so okay so let's start with the uh first one so we have Aaron. so Aaron is a good character if you're a good uh current Aaron player uh he's a good character but he can easily be uh avoided and his moves they're kind of like flying off so he can kind of miss with Aaron, but he can actually be really good if you know how to play Aaron. so so this is going to be like my opinion first and then i will check what the community is saying so let's see all right so i guess he stay on b tier but a lot of other people said on c tier so so the next one is okay <laughs> okay so here's the thing okay so okay i'm sorry if this might sound offensive or but it's just a joke it's okay it's just a joke but we have another uh uh we have okay let me show y'all so we have another okay <laughs> So we have another rank, uh, rank which is okay. As <laughs> asthma. So here's the asthma tier, because with this one you actually need to breathe. And this character, he's actually good. I played against a uh, Tanjiro, and he was actually good, but he needed to breathe. So most of the times we just cut him off. All right. And as a matter of fact and his other half uh where is he tanjiro over here i mean zenitsu he too is in the asthma rank because you need to breathe to actually play him but when you have like his awakening uh some people say that his awakening is good all right some people say that his awakening is good but you actually need to breathe and nobody's letting you breathe so like everybody will just come and attack you there's some uh, there's at the time that you're trying to breathe all right um so the next one let's see after one after that we have bakugo 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 okay so i tried to buy him instead of deku because i wanted to main him i wanted him to be my main but he's really bad okay he's explosion and it, he's like i think he's down move he's down uh b no what is it down k a down main i mean down um like m2 it's just a beam which is kind of slow i mean you can just dodge it like by just jumping up and his explosions don't do that a lot of stuff like his explosions are not that strong like they can't knock back people a lot like it doesn't knock them back uh uh farther like like in the wrong distance I mean, it can do damage, but other than that, I think he's just good in the E tier. And you have a combo that you can use with Dio. Uh, so I think it's like down. No, no, no. It's up K. And then once you get them down, um, you can do the aura, aura, aura. I mean, mura, 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 and then you can knock them back. So sometimes if you have a good internet or if, the, uh, if you have a good ping, if you use it, it will work so good what the, what, what happened okay there so i will put him in a tier but uh i put him there in a tier because he can always be avoidable and you can uh you can avoid his aura aura if you just press if you um 
if you block before that you can avoid his aura aura and uh, another thing that i hate is um his uh what is it his awakening his drive is good but you can't dodge it really easily so like before he does the word if you just move i mean if you just like move back a little bit he can miss it because you are uh, both of you are uh, stops like when he does the time stop he to stop in the air so you stop he stop he cannot aim it he can like he cannot like go to you and then just do the muda 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 and then add on the roller but he can't do that he just stops in the air and then if you're not in the distance he will not hit you with the uh with the roller so that's why i put him on a tier he's a really good character like every everything from b to a they're good characters i mean every character over here you can play them okay you can play them and make them good but over but like uh from c i mean from b to a there are some good characters that you like if you if you just hop in the game they'll be easier to understand and you can play them way easier than these other characters down here okay so the next one is gara damn he has a good move as a matter of fact i think he's like nah i think he's in the b tier he's in the b tier okay he's in the b tier so one one my own my one reason that why i want to pull gara in the b tier is because of his awakening so his awakening you can actually avoid it but no he's in 80 i can't do that i can't do that <laughs> okay so one thing okay so here's my reason so his awakening you can avoid it but it's not that easy to avoid where can i put my bucket okay, he's gonna go in the b tier okay, he's a good character he has that one move that like it's a meteor that's a good move but sometimes when i was fighting him like i thought that like it'd be like uh vegeta's move but it's not quite like vegeta's move so sometimes when i'm fighting him uh when somebody uses that move it will actually damage me but it won't knock me back like how like how uh uh what is his name vegeta's move is gonna knock me back so it's actually a good move uh he can be a spammable character like you can actually spam care uh mob yeah yeah so everybody agrees that mob is a good uh <laughs> b tier character so he's gonna uh all right so the next one is asta broken asta this dude is broken he's just broken okay he's he, he is just broken he's going to a tier because he's he's that broken he's a really annoying character like he can get you out and he can come back in like he can easily get you out and then here's the thing there are some people who even take it farther where they will like kick you out and then when you try to come back in like when you try to come back in they will use another move to really like spam you down like it's like no nah, you're not coming back in like he's a really great character like he's really spammable he's really he all, almost like all of his moves even if he's even his awakening is really good like his awakening is really good as a matter of fact it even makes him more broken I really wished I would have bought Deku instead of Bakugo. I really do wish I would have bought Deku instead of Bakugo. Because Deku is way, 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 way better than Bakugo. It's like he meets all the ranking. Like he meets all the requirements. Okay. His moves that do knockbacks. Uh he can come back in the um in the stage pretty easily. Uh what's another thing? okay he that he has a long range move his uh even his short range moves uh his short range combos are good you can like you can make it really 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 good combos with deku um i don't know why i haven't made a video on him but he's a really 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 great character not good not good he's a great character he's like once once you go up against like these two and his awakening is pretty good too you <laughs> you 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 is it a is an as tier character i mean a tier character all right so, so some people put him in a tier um if used correctly 
S plus. Otherwise, a A tier. Yeah, I think he'll he'll be good in A tier because some people really prove me wrong. Okay, so the next one is uh, Gio. I mean Jotaro. Now I haven't played Jotaro, but I have played against Jotaro multiple times, like a lot of times. Nah, B plus. Yeah, he's already gonna be some. Uh, oh, yeah, some <laughs> oh, yeah, so this is B plus. Damn, bruh. I'm gonna say it, but I can't. Okay. Bruh, I can't. I can't put Jotaro in B. Yeah, so I'm gonna put Jotaro in A tier. All right. So here's one reason why he's actually like Dio. He's actually like Dio. But they're going to add in, uh, they're going to add um, a um, Starfinger. Because I don't know why he did not have Starfinger. I do not know why he didn't have Starfinger. But yeah, they're going to add Starfinger. Now, I haven't played Jotaro because I did not buy him. But I've played against a lot of Jotaros. It's not that easy. Actually, it's not easy to play a Jotaro. Bro, no, it's, it's not easy to play a Jotaro. He's in S tier. I'm sorry, but he's not easy to play against. Okay, that's all. I'm just going to tell you from experience. I've been playing against a lot of Jotaros, and they have not been easy to play with. Like, I can't knock them back easily. Uh, they have that stupid aura move. Um, what else? They have the time stop. I think they have the time stop. Yeah, and they're working. Like, they're just pretty good. Maybe it's because I've just been playing against good... Uh, Jotaro players. Maybe that's the reason. And now we have Ichigo. Ichigo, 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 Ichigo. I thought he would be better than Zoro. I thought he would be like the better Zoro, but he's a really good character. So he's gonna go in the B tier. Alright, he's gonna go in the good B tier. He's a really good character. If y'all haven't watched some video on my on it, uh I made a video on him and he's pretty good for real. He's pretty good. Um I don't know if I'm supposed to be giving uh, reasons for every. Now we have Luffy. His awakening is pretty good. So I'll put Luffy over here because his awakening is pretty good. Like his awakening when he's using that bazooka. So it's, it's like uh, so his awakening. It's, it's not just a move. It's like his uh, gear second. And then when he used that bazooka, like everybody will stop. And if you're in the range, when he hits you, you're just out of the ring. So it's an instant win. But I don't think that he can hit multiple people with it. Zoro, 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 Zoro. I recently made a video on him and he's pretty good. Not gonna lie. He's a really, 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 really good character, all right? I did not expect him to be this good. Like Zoro is a really good A tier. If not, I can put him in S tier. I haven't played against him. Onigiri. Really? Bro, he's eighth character. He's A tier. Yeah, Onigiri will be buffed. So that was coming up in the next episode. All right. I mean, in the next update. So, and once you hit with Onigiri, oh, so, okay. So he can miss. Onigiri can miss. Like his range is pretty, pretty, pretty short. So, yeah, he can go down to B tier because of his range. But what his move does is pretty good. And sometimes it does not work. I mean, sometimes you can hit the Onigiri. You can hit somebody with Onigiri, but. They won't get out of the out of the stage. So that's why I'm not putting him in S tier. Because like sometimes the Onigiri can fail. Like so the next one is Sanji. Mm, this one. This one. This one. This one. He's in the same tier as Ichigo. But he, he would have actually been good. He has some good combos. Like he has some good moves. But yeah, I, I just I wanted him to meet my other main, my second main, but you know, damn, damn. So he's gonna go in C tier, okay? And now the next one is Naruto. Annoying, annoying. His awakening can easily be blocked. Like you can really block that move, yeah. Like you can easily block it pretty easily. Okay. C, no, that's C. Like, his only move that I think that is, like, really good is Rasen Shuriken. Yeah, his Rasen Shuriken can really knock you back. And it's uh, it's kind of like a long range move. B? <laughs> He's just good in the CT, all right? And uh, Sasuke. Sasuke! Sasuke! 
Hi, A. Yep. 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 <laughs> yep. Sasuke is an A good tier. Ah, oh, dang it, dang it, dang it, Yeah, he's a good A tier. Yeah, he's a good A tier. For real. He's a good, really good A tier. It's like, like, the more that you play Sasuke, I feel like the good he gets. Like, the more combos you get, okay? I feel like he's an A tier. Uh, he's like a tier above Zoro because he has that one long range move. And that's a really good advantage but yeah he's a really good tier he's a really good character and then the next one we have is goku he cannot go up to a tier okay so b he's in low b goku is in low b because of his he's kind of spammable he's a spam character he's a really annoying character he has spammable kamehameha so vegeta is in a tier because he's a good character um some people call him the best character he has that one annoying move Yep, that one up, S, special, that annoying move is really annoying, but it's really good. Okay, uh, his awakening actually have a move. Can you believe it? Actually, yeah. His awakening have final flash, which can really knock you back. His combos are great. If you do up, 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 special, like he has some, that one combo is really good and then like uh do the uh up s uh special and then after that finish with final flash or garlic gun pretty good so this is the best uh tier list i feel like this is the ultimate tier list all right so let me uh download this here's the final so this is the final list this is the ultimate list so this list is before the update know that this list is before is before the update because after the update there will be a lot of changes to the characters and to the game so let me show you guys the new upcoming character uh so we have gojo so gojo is upcoming uh he's one of the upcoming character uh, i'm basically adding characters and rank at this point so they're gonna uh bring back uh they're going to put in uh spectate mode it's actually going to work it's actually going to be like spectate uh dash ranked uh, there's going to be ranked so gojo azen shiro trunks either coming all next week one after another so these are all the characters so one gojo then azen and then shiro and then trunks and then tire barrage hitbox revamp only characters should be able to hit you from slightly behind is luffy because of his powers work so if you like if luffy is doing his dash i mean his aura aura and you're behind him you can be able to die uh uh to hit you run would be default because who want to uh walk uh spot dodging oh we can dodge okay i'm aiming for three new maps okay new maps and gain neutral air forgot to add fixing bugs you know the little blah one v one pads okay that's good fight scree okay increase server count by two okay good custom match caps okay Above 100%, you will bounce back during slams. Oh, that's great. That's great. The higher percentage is higher the bounce you will be while moving side motion. Okay. Sword down smashes are getting longer. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, I like that. It's, it was like the best spam for every sword man it's like go up and then just smash down and then people can go fly everywhere uh they get all right so that's the end of this one bro subscribe turn on bell notification as always stay blessed peace out i'm out of here